Ah, welcome viewers to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. I'm Bezlanir, and uh, let's get this started in here. Um, so this is a pretty fun game. I've been playing this quite a bit the last couple days. I've already racked up 14 hours or so of game time. So I'm just going to use my name and uh, company name right now. Uh, I can change this later, so if you have, uh, uh, <laughs> what you talking about, Wizards of the West Coast? No, uh, anyway, uh, I can change this later. Obviously, there's a bunch of icons that are like whatever. Uh, so we got the hemorrhoidal butthole, the shiny hemorrhoidal butthole. Uh, we could change the logo, and we could talk, change the, uh, the name of the company later. I'm gonna go with the U.S. Uh, each one apparently has a slight speciality to them, uh, but it's useful when you start a game to think about your ultimate from, I'm just gonna use the mouse cursor to demonstrate, say we're starting off in 80, so we're, we're pre-Atari, just bare, just before the Atari. And then we're going through each stage of, of you know, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Genesis, SNES, all the eras. So you got to think about it, uh, you know, like the story of your game company. What kind of games are you going to make in each part? You know, you got to tailor what kind of game you're going to make to that. And also try to, like, choose an evolution through there that will build your skills and stuff. So uh, that's assuming you don't click this button random platform popularity uh, because you know this game benefits from a lot from if you know video game history you know which which consoles rose and fell in which years and uh, you know that'll help you avoid the stinkers but if you choose random platform popularity uh, it's gonna make it a lot more like a, a roguelike for you basically it's gonna be a whole lot of RNG and uh, I can tell you one thing, um, alright, so we'll, we'll just move along. Uh, I'm just gonna say one thing, that's the, uh, my ultimate goal here. Ultimate goal! My ultimate warrior goal! I, I can't, because I'm doing a let's play right now, I cannot even think of what the ultimate warrior is like, but, uh, so I'm gonna, my ultimate goal is, in, is to do MMOs, so we're gonna be an MMO company, uh, but that's gonna not really go into effect until the late 90s, early 2000s, so uh, anyway, your special feature, I really don't know what that does, but I'm gonna go to the end, I'm gonna look to that part, and then uh, special genre, I'm gonna go with hmm we're gonna do uh, these have been really good to me I do third-person shooters but it's gonna take a while before we can get so our, our games are gonna be third-person shooter RPG uh, MMOs in the end so that should be pretty fun although <laughs> it's actually kind of similar to what I did in the past but uh, so if you choose hard I don't even know what legendary is like but this game is a little difficult to to get started with anyway um i actually did pretty well the first time i i tried doing it but i got i did get a little lucky i guess uh really gonna help you if you uh maybe do what i'm doing in the layout or just follow my advice here you got to be really careful you need at least three squares of dimension for any type of room uh, and laying it out well in here will make sure that you can fit a lot of desks in there and uh, the, the four main uh, types of rooms you're going to want in your first building are, uh, and this is assuming you're not going with the start with small office building, uh, is toilets, your development room here, and um, let's see if I can, uh, your research room, and then a staff room is what you're going to want. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I like to go a little aggressive in the beginning. Um, I, d I actually haven't taken that 
strategy very far, so I don't know if it just straight up doesn't work, because I've continually failed, but I but was also playing on difficult, and, uh, you know, difficult is just, normal is, like, too easy, but difficult is, like, insane. Well, it's not insane, I bet legendary is, diff is insane, but difficult is just, like, you just never really get your head above water, is what it felt like to me, like, where there was a point in in normal where it was like I could take a deep breath and I was like ah okay I don't have to worry anymore but then you know in difficult there, that moment never really came I sort of started sinking deeper and deeper and I wasn't like my games a lot of times would make money but they wouldn't make enough money so we're gonna put in one toilet over here, and uh, I don't know how necessary that is at the moment, but you know, you know, what, let's just be nice to our guys. Um, it's actually fun, or something that I find fun playing on normal anyway. You know, to kind of be imaginative in how you lay out your stuff and play pretend and and all that sort of thing. Um, so e these people you hire do have specialities, but I'm not really that worried about it. Um, maybe that's where I'm not really doing good enough in difficult mode, but it's, I mean, it's so hard to, like, get the people, um, this star up here determines how many people you can hire. Uh, if you're trying to, so first thing we want to do is develop a game, um, Oh, superheroes. That's cool. Let's choose that. We'll start making superhero games. Uh, we're going to make arcade games because they do pretty well, generally speaking, in these early offings. So, potty, train, wreck. Sure. Um, only platform we have right now is the PC. But if you are trying to recruit uh, you really want an employee, just any employee, then, uh, uh, we're gonna go graphics, uh, game length, sure. I mean, it's probably not gonna be very long anyway, there's not much storage. I, I don't know, this, this stuff doesn't really matter that much. I mean, there isn't, you, this game is not gonna sell anyway, it's mainly for the experience for our programmers. I like to focus on gameplay. That's my... Seems to do well for me, at least in normal mode. Which I suppose is easy mode. Um, not, not much to do over here. This is your head office. And later on you'll be able to buy development kits for the consoles as they come out. Uh, licenses I found pretty useful. For... Um, it helps your games sell better. I always uh, would try to get a good license. Just check back periodically to see if I can get a good license that is worth a lot, is really popular, doesn't have, to, is not too overused, and then grab that ahead of time and plan ahead and make sure I use it with, you know, a big release. But uh, so I don't think I can build anything else. Yeah. So once I finish this game, then here, let's just fast forward. So these buttons down here will speed up the progress and stuff, so now that we finished it, you know, these these stars are saying that it's good, but, I mean, <laughs> whatever. It's uh, clearly a matter of interpretation because this is still not going to make money. Alright, so we're gonna build a research area. Yeah, basically they said it sucks. Across the board. 22% though, not all bad. If you want to know why that is, you might watch other people's LPs and theirs didn't do good. That's because I put two programmers in there. So the more that you put in there, the more better -er that they're gonna make the game. So, silly, sally, uh, uh, muffin 
muffin top. Sure. It's just, uh, right. Um, so once I get out of this screen, you'll see that that game is now on the market. We're going to get a week by week breakdown of how it's selling and stuff. But I just wanted to go ahead and start developing a second game because might as well. And, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter, does it? Uh, you know what? Making another language is going to make the development take longer. If you get to the point where your games are selling, they will sell more at that point. It's definitely good. So, uh, it takes some getting used to to identify where you're putting things down. I like this 5x4 structure for the development wait oh god doesn't matter that's not what i wanted to do anyway but i'm gonna take out a bank loan i do this a lot early on i'm just gonna take out two probably gonna need it thank goodness i'm not see i always get this confused development research right to, to, don't even get me started there's also a, a marketing department so i mean the average person you really have to stop and go, wait a minute. You have to, like, break it down to... Well, I guess those are different, huh? Uh, research, marketing, development. <laughs> I don't know, it's just full of people I don't like. <laughs> right? Or, well, you know, not personally. Just, we just don't like them on general. On the, on the GP, we're just used to having a derisive attitude towards such individuals in a wholesale fashion. Whatever. Alright, let's put a plant in here. It's really late, because I did... I recorded earlier, but there were some people... The people I live in, with were watching TV in the other room, and uh, it turned out kind of loud. I had a bunch of bass in my audio, and... Uh, it, you know what? It was for the better anyway, because I actually... While that was all going, realized later on that I was kind of hosed because I started on difficult and I'm just not good enough at this game at this m moment in time for that. I just, I blew. <laughs> I blew like a Chinook, I guess. Oh, so now I should build a lounge. Like all these people got, became generic little game of life figures. So, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to want to research sprites. So one of the early things I like to do hasn't worked for me on difficult but it worked pretty well on normal was to develop game engines because you'll get some profit from that early on. Uh, what did I just... Oh, staff room, right. <laughs> I'm like, I have to remind myself what I just did. So you can rotate this furniture with the mouse scroll wheel. No biggie. No biggie smalls. No unicorn balls. I'm gonna put a couch in there. And, uh, cool. Beans. Uh, testes. So that game sold a little bit. It's not gonna make its money back. It's not gonna make its baby back ribs. Alright, let's speed this up. There's nothing. Like kind of a creepy guy hanging around. There's no reason not to publish. Uh, well, this is not as regarded as well. Oh, I wonder if these stars add to that. So when you make a good game, it means you can hire more people. I forget what that is, like your fame or something. This is fans. We can't really get that yet. A well, big way to get that is to go to... Um, to get the ball rolling on that, you really need to go to the fair at the end of the year, which... We haven't got to yet now, but later on it's just going to come and go like crazy. Okay, now we can get a dev kit, which we'll get Atari. And, right, this... Will it be reviewed any better than the last game? No, they felt pretty much the same about it. Now we're going to be competing with ourselves. Okay, so I don't think we have any more features, and we don't... Uh, I'm not going to go into B+, until it's around time to do Nintendo games. 
Uh, we won't need that many features until then. I do want Jean, um, I do want to unlock that, but let's see if there's a, a genre I want to unlock. What kind of RPGs do we want to make? I want to make space RPGs. So I'm going to unlock space now, but oh god, I am should not. God dang it. Now I'm on fast. I don't know if there is a hotkey. Hold on, let me see if this is selling at all. We'll update. We'll make an update for this. It's not gonna. It's probably too late. We'll just make a small update. Too late to do any good, probably. That whole thing. If there are hotkeys, I'll have to learn them. I'm not familiar enough with it. It's less of an issue later on because everything takes so long that it's like, doesn't even matter. Um, so let's develop an engine. Uh, farty butt mix. Uh, dingle pants. Sure. <laughs> you could hear my voice. It's like, I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that sounds fine. We'll do a 13% profit sharing. We'll make a little money off of these things early on, but it's all later on, it's not going to make as much difference. Um, I don't want to research that right now because I feel feel like it's gonna uh, a useful feature is gonna pop up in a minute so let's get this guy in here and let's just uh, or the gal whatever so we'll work on doing that and we'll research a couple of topics like aliens for now we're gonna need to buy the dev kit for the Atari because as we know, that's going to be around for a while. That's the early Nintendo. Uh, I don't. I've not, haven't tr played the game uh, through just buying engines and using them. That might be the way to go if you're going to play on like hard. Uh, I have the feeling I'm going to regret it if I go to this. I think most of the money that I have right now I borrowed which means I owe money every month so it's gonna be more all right let's make let's speed things up oh, God. the control of mouse scrolling to the end of the screen is fighting with uh, oh yeah by the way you use the WASD controls to move around and then the mouse scroll wheel out here We'll zoom in and out. Not much need for it over here. You can see our what you talking about wizards on the uh, side of our building. So once again, pretty pleased with myself on that one. So uh, we'll use our farty butt McDingle pants. You can see uh, the star in here is the number of features. So when that gets up over five, we'll need to have researched B plus games because once we Right now, we don't have enough features that we could even put into an engine. You have to put the features into an engine. If you don't have the features in an engine, you can't use them in the game. So that's just the way it is. Uh, I do believe you can pick and choose blah once you're making the game. But uh, if you don't have the features in the engine, then you're going to be screwed. Let's make a space game. Um... Slippery space slope. Sure. I'm I'm just always gonna be acting pleased with myself about my stupid names for my games. Alright. Maybe I developed too many multi console games before. I don't really know. Um Alright, most of these features aren't really gonna be relevant yet. I'm gonna develop games for a couple different languages. You can make a language pack later on, so not as big of a deal. Um, okay, cool. So this is, I wanna make, um, bring this person back in here. Um, I need this desk. One thing, uh, when 
when stuff starts getting packed in, it's a little hard to grab individual feature. Um, like, say there's a plant or this desk behind this little icon, it's hard to grab that icon because you can't move this icon around. So things get a little packed. If you want to do precise control, it gets a little rough. Anyway, let's just go fast, fast, because there's nothing to really micromanage here right now. This is, when you're learning the game, it's not, it's fine, but when you're, when you know the game, it's just boring. <laughs> well, that's just pointless waiting, because there's nothing you can do. Uh, when they ask you if you want to publish the game now, at this juncture, because you don't have a quality control department, graphics, or uh, sound department, there's nothing you can do. You have to research each thing that you want to do that you would be able to do with um, quality control, sound, audio, and also motion capture later on. You have to research each one in your research room under like other. I'll show you in a second. So yay, we got a 31. Slightly less garbage than before. Well, I can't show you now because, yeah. Um, let's just make an update for it. Maybe it'll help it. So, let's see. Let's go with graphics and campaigns. I'm going to leave the bugs in. I don't even care. So, here's where you research this stuff. Right now, we're not going to have access to it, but like performance. That's, that'll be uh, accessed in a quality control room. You can choose to do that. Controls, user interface would be in the graphics department. You won't get into that until you get into the 16-bit era, generally. And um, and then there's not a lot else. Professional cut scenes would be like motion capture. So you have to unlock these in here to be able to do anything in those motion capture areas. Uh, in a quality control room, even if you haven't done research, you can still um, and I like to research new features uh, until it gets to the point where it's something like if it's 1982 and they're giving you 16-bit color you might not really need it yet you can research it but it's not like the stuff that's coming up is good to make an engine based off of alright make just, uh, let's see, let's keep it cheap. See if we can keep sales high for now. What are you doing? No, no. <laughs> there goes your privacy. Oh, man, this is, not, this is not a time to be pinching a loaf. This is, well, at least they made it quick. I noticed you didn't wash your hands. I'm glad you didn't go to get the cup of coffee afterwards. But anyway, okay, okay, so now copy protection is available, so uh, anytime we make further games, we will want copy protection. You can buy, uh, buy that in the menu, though, for that. So let's make one more. Actually, you know what? I feel like a better use of our time right now is going to be taking on some contract work, so let's do that uh, until we're ready to make another... Okay, until we're ready to make another engine, I feel like I would rather do some research. Uh, let's research Jump and Run, because the next game I make, I want to have a subgenre of Jump and Run. I almost said Jump and Run. <laughs> How very false of me. <laughs> well, um, I'm just going to go ahead and be bold, put in another desk. And we will get ourselves another <laughs> God, I, you've got to feel bad for these people. I am a miserable boss. I'm just like cramming these people in here. Um, I'm going to be a little conservative for now, but I do want to put in a cabinet because it won't be long before they're crying for cabinets. <laughs> I was saying that like Yogi Bear. Going to put in some cabinets. <laughs> okay. Well, just... You just, you just go crazy with those cabinet, 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 Ramsey, not gonna go there. Okay, whatever. Pretty sure that none of those are our games, so. All right, we're gonna, 
be done with this contract work pretty soon. I may just take on another contract because... See, I think that was the best option. We weren't going to make that kind of money doing that. Um, once I get very far in the game, I don't like to do contract work anymore because... Uh, you generally aren't going to make that much money from it. Um, maybe even up to when you get in the, into the NES era, you might want to keep a second development room. You can only work on one project in a development room. So you can have two development rooms if you have a bigger area, which you can look at here. You can buy properties. Then when you have a bigger one, you can have multiple development areas. Um, which is I've, I have found useful if you're doing an MMO. Okay, so now we can mix genres. Okay, I want to do that too. I'm going to take this person over here and I am going to do some contract work. Okay, that one should be easy to do. So, oh yeah, so for to have two development rooms, so you can have, uh, you can have your people, so this is what I'm talking about, yeah, so uh, these guys made a game based on our engine, sold way more than we're selling with any of our games. <laughs> so that's that's always fun to look at that. And um, so we're, I'm going to put the joystick driver in our next game. I'm not sure if we're going to, I think we're going to slightly exceed the number of features we can use. But um, so you, you, you use a one development studio for uh, making the expansion pack and then you use the, the other development studio for making updates that way by the time you run out of updates you can do your development studio is done with the expansion pack and you can move on to the next cycle and keep the keep your MMO fresh uh, nothing beats in this game um, nothing beats an MMO for just sheer ability to just milk milk a game for incredible amounts of like really if you don't make MMOs you're just you're not doing yourselves any favors so okay here we go let's see here uh, I don't think we need any of this stuff so let's see we don't need graphics drivers yet it's only uh, da, da, da. we got everything we need so I think we're gonna move this desk over here move two of these people over here and we're gonna start making an engine um, mode motor boat um, motor boat motor boat Carlton uh, lemons sure man I always just put random words together, but for some reason at the moment I'm having difficulty even doing that. One thing that I would like to see is the ability to just click on this and put in a number, because when you're trying to like get the exact number, it's a little difficult, especially if you have a sensitive mouse. My mouth is sensitive, guys. Oh, uh, I have done this before, by the way, so make sure you click on features, because if you don't, you're going to have like the minimum in there. So that's gonna suck. Ah, uh, gosh. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six features. No point in that. We're not gonna use PC music. That's just gonna cost us an extra five thousand. So probably best not to waste money. You can add that back on later. What's going on? We don't. We have the money. What's going on? We have a name. Oh, we gotta optimize it for arcade style games. That's what we are going to make. I'm going to have this person start working on researching RPGs. RPGs! Mother fool. Um, so I'm not going to buy a copy protection ahead of time because I'm just going to... You can buy it in, in situ when you're already going for this. Uh, so no point in buying any of these. I did go for the Intellivisual before but I wasn't thinking about my video game history. So, you might as well avoid it. One thing is, it would be cheaper to to uh, develop on the Intellivisual, but not the best idea in the long run. Right, let's just speed all this stuff up. Might as well. So, oh god, 
Do, see, here's a problem. Uh, let's skip it this year. I think it's just gonna... So the, the buttons for this, as far as I can tell, they're down on the end, edge of the screen. Four color support. I think we'll be all right on that. I mean, we're already making our game engine, so... Um, we'd have to give up a feature anyway until we go to the B, so we'll go with eight. We'll go four bit when we get to NES, maybe. Although that's not really good enough, but you can't, sometimes you can't be too literal minded. You, know, you gotta do the best you can and just roll with it. Uh, you don't wanna sit on too long of a development cycle unless you're gonna be making something really amazing with it. So, let's see, our topic is gonna be uh, you know what? I like the idea of uh, superheroes, but let's go with everyday life. No, screw that. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's choose our main genre. It's going to be arcade and jump and run. That's right. And then uh, let's see here. Um, zig, zag, zigzag, laser tag. How's that sound? Targ. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. I like my rhyme. I don't. I do not know how long I've been doing this. Uh, at the moment, well, I think. I think. I, so I'm just shuffling my phone around. I think I do know. So this is gonna be a long first episode. I, I think they're just gonna be long episodes. I'm. I'm conflicted because I want to make progress. So I'm gonna try to use the fast forward button as much as possible. You know, but. Okay, let's just stick to that. I'm gonna do, go Japanese too. And uh, cool, we don't have to take any features out. Good, and I like that. Um, good, I don't think there's any reason to... Oh uh, man, hold on. I screwed up. Okay, hold on. So, zig zag laser tag. So learn from learn from my mistakes. Okay, so we're gonna go space arcade jump and run. What I screwed up on is I did not take copy protection. I don't know how that happened. Okay, hold on. Copy protection here. Uh, we're gonna buy the best on the market, which. God, this is not timely. That shit is, like, basically ineffective. Ugh, God, that's not even worth the money. Well, that was a waste of time and money. I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Okay, screw it. Let's just go with what we had. That crap is gonna be worthless by the time we get this thing on the market. Okay, guys, do your... Do your worst. God dang it, that's the only problem with licensing your engines is these guys are making games with it before we can. Uh, I don't remember. Was that an engine we made? Dang, dude. <laughs> well, that was nice to get that money. That See, that's what I'm talking about. That helps a lot early on. That guy's like stroking it furiously over there at that console. Ah, god dang it. Stop, like, moving my screen around. I need... I gotta find out if there's hotkeys. I don't know what this thing does. It's like really annoying. This I guess I didn't get a chance to state this, but this game is early access. It's a Steam early access game, so it's not a completely finished game. Um, nothing else to do here. No real decisions I want to make. I'm gonna pause. Oh. So this is done. Oh, it looks like a good game. Now there's more publishers around. I think the share, the number under share, is the amount of money that they take. So ideally you want to look with it for mar one that has more market strength. You have a relationship with, they do, they have a fan base that's related to the game you're putting out. And uh, takes less of a share. So hopefully this will be the first game we kind of make some money on because we sort of need it in order to 
we need a couple of games to make money in order to prepare for the Nintendo era. And then we need to hit with like one game, like big time, during the Nintendo time. Alright, well we automatically know that our stuff is not going to be on the list. So thanks, but no thanks. Let's start supporting these a little more, because we do have some people. And I am not playing on... Oh, can we get this guy? He's good. Oh. Yeah. With his... That is... I don't think anybody did their hair like that in the... I don't I even know what style that is or what movement that's considered. I just think I identify it with, like, Jim Schwartz, the Lions coach, but a lot of people wear that. Um... Am I am I incorrect if I say that I usually think they're gay if they have that haircut? But you know, it's like they did a what, what's that? It's like somebody who's whipping eggs on their head with their hair, and it's like peeking, you know? Or you know, it's poop crowning on their head. I, I don't know. What am I saying? Uh, so now we can make a marketing department. Apparently, the beginning of your third year, you can do that. Uh, but we obviously do not have room for a marketing department. But we are going to continue to develop a couple of updates for this. Obviously the updates cost money. Try to balance that out against the... Um, the money that you're making with this. So we are making a profit on that. That is good. Oh, goodness. Uh, hopefully that will stay relevant on the market. So, let's see. What can we do? Let's. I'm going to try to go with four color support, scripted AI, B+. We're going to put out another game with the same engine. Um, see if... I think we can get away with one more small update. This should show me the difference between um, hard and normal. Because usually on hard at this point, I was lucky to get two updates out before the game just... These blue bars will just go... They'll just drop right down. Oh man, I'm getting lots of money off that stuff. Yeah, this is, this is a huge difference from... Um, Difficult or hard. I'm, I, at this point in hard, I'm still struggling to keep my head above water. Oh yeah, the, your games just keep on selling way longer, way longer. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and develop a game with the same engine. So I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna get a little advanced. Uh, experience with RPGs here. Take that opportunity to get a little experience with them. And let's make another space game so we get more experience with that. Can't get a license yet. Um, Ophelia uh, boobies? No, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Let's see if there's any better copy protection available yet. All right, this might be the well, yeah, this might be the last game we develop for the uh, Qatari. Still nothing. All right, that's not even worth it, dude. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Now let's just go with the same formula. Why not? Let's develop it for a few languages and same features. So yeah, this is. I'm probably should be about yeah well more money I like that all right uh, this guy's really looking for a book to read man if he's I can tell what he's not busy doing that's making money all right I am going to research B plus and I'm probably going to try to put down another desk in here and see if I can hire somebody. Alright, we are just... We are just running an absolute sweatshop. 
We are just cramming people into this garage. Oh man, can we hire this guy? No. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I just wanna have three people working on that research. That's gonna be crucial. So, uh, yeah, we made a pretty decent amount of money on that game. 250,000. Yeah, that's way. I, I was lucky to break even on difficult at that juncture. So, that came off the market, but it made a lot of money. Okay, so we'll wanna start developing stuff for the uh, Commodore 64 for sure. And boy, our guys are just cracking away on this stuff. Oh, can you? Oh, so when it has a. Okay, so keep this in mind. When it has a dialogue box up, you can change the speed over there. That's really good. Okay, so our game is complete. Ooh, you can see uh, nobody gives a crap anymore. Um, we gotta up our game, so. At this juncture, I mean, hopefully we make some money from it. We wouldn't make jack squat if it was um if this was difficult setting but uh the best thing we can do uh money wise at this point is probably do some updates for it and uh i don't know on this difficulty setting i like to um move into a bigger place before I start doing Nintendo games. Uh, okay, sure, we can afford. So going to convention is the main way that you start getting fans. So that's really good. Uh, it's good to start getting fans. I don't know exactly how it initially correlates. Oh, hey, we got some fans anyway. Must have been because our games sold so well. But that's cool. Um, okay, so now we have uh, B, so we can put more features into a game. So I'm gonna go ahead and research save game support that will help with our role-playing games that we make, I would think. I don't really know. And we'll keep making updates for these. Uh, I, like, I like these ones down here. They're kind of the big boys. All right, God dang it. So the only problem is these are so far down there that every time you want to do that, you wind up scrolling. I've really got to stop. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause. There's no question. <laughs> this is... All right, I'm going to save down over here. That was... uh. Oh man, did I make it to 1986 before my thing? It doesn't even matter anyway. That game, that was a fail, so... Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. So this is Bezlinger signing out of Mad Games Tycoon. And uh, I will see you next time, viewers. So thanks for joining me.